Would your dirty kettle make your grandmother waggle her finger at you and pull your ear? Stick around and I'll show you how to quickly descale your kettle. Hello my tea cozy. It's Melissa Maker here from Clean My Space with a question from Tim. And Tim asked me, hey Melissa, the inside of my kettle looks gross. It's full of lime scale. What do I do? Tim, it's a great question for a couple of reasons. First of all, lime scale at the bottom of your kettle? Gross. Second of all, it actually uses more energy to boil water when you have lime scale on the element. The element has to work harder to boil your water and then you can end up burning out your element, so don't want to do that. If you're boiling your water efficiently, you're saving electricity, which is great on the pocketbook. Tim, let's fix your problem. The first thing you'll need, of course, is your dirty kettle. Now, mine happens to be very clean. However, I'm just gonna ask you to use your imagination here. Second thing we need is a little bit of baking soda. This is an option, and I'll explain why in a minute. Cotton cloth, third thing that we'll need. And vinegar, my fave. Depending on how severe the lime scale buildup is in your kettle, I'll give you a couple of pointers as to what you can do to take a very dirty kettle to very clean or how to take a somewhat dirty kettle to very clean. Those will empty it out. If your kettle is really, really dirty, you can put the vinegar in and let it soak for an hour. I'm going to put a cup of vinegar into the kettle. And now we wait. What the vinegar will do is heat up the element, break down the lime scale, and the steam caused from the boiling will also help clean off the rest of the kettle. And I would suggest doing this about once every six months just to keep everything nice and clean. <coughs> Whoa. There we go. I'm gonna swish this nasty boiled vinegar around. Now, I'm gonna pour it down the sink. And in fact, if you wanted to, you could pour about a cup of baking soda down the drain and then dump this vinegar down the drain and that would clean out your drain and help deodorize it. So it's sort of like a two-way trick here. It's a tough angle, folks, but I'm gonna try and show you the inside, which is crystal clean. In the event that it wasn't perfectly clean, what you could do is take a cloth, get it just a little bit wet, and dip it into the baking soda just a tad, and then you can clean the lime scale still remaining with the baking soda inside the kettle. And that will help scrape off any extra lime scale that's left behind. Rinse it out a couple more times. You might want to boil it through once more just to make sure you get all that nasty vinegar out, but then you're done and you've got a wickedly clean kettle. Tim, I hope this has solved your kettle issue, and I hope that now your grandmother will love having tea at your house. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any cleaning questions, you can always drop me a comment in the box below, or you can find us on Twitter, twitter.com slash cleanmyspace. If you like the videos and want to learn more about cleaning, hit the button above and you can subscribe to catch more of our cool cleaning videos. Thanks so much for watching my tea cozies and we'll see you soon.